Here I have a Wi-Fi 7 access point from Ingenious. So if you're looking like to upgrade your router to a Wi-Fi 7, an access point actually could be a good idea, especially if you're in a house and uh, you have like ethernet cables all around your house. Kind of an access point makes more sense than getting a router because this one you're able to pretty much just go ahead and uh, hook up the ethernet cable, which you can use something like this, like a power over the ethernet adapter. So you don't even need to plug in the power here. All you need to do is just plug in the ethernet and mount this in a room and you'll get great Wi-Fi. On this video, I'll be doing like a LAN speed test, also an internet speed test as well, just so you can see those results. And then also you'll see the, the thermals. I'll be using this uh, HSF tools and we'll, we're gonna go ahead and see the thermals uh, in the front and the back here. So take a look at the back. This is what you're getting. It's all like kind of like plastic here all around. So at the back here, it's pretty simple. We got the reset, the 2.5 gig ethernet connection, and then the DC 12 volt. But if you're gonna be using like a power over the ethernet uh, adapter, you don't need to worry about plugging in the power here. Nowadays, setting up an access point like this, it's actually very simple. I will say it's actually easier than uh, setting up a router because all you need to do is just go ahead and scan the QR code at the back here and then you're pretty much all set. And uh, you're just gonna have to go to the Wi-Fi settings here to set up a name and switch your password, of course. And then uh, you're good to go. And you're able to go ahead and manage the settings from anywhere. So since this is like a cloud managed uh, AP, first we're checking out the open speed test here at 10 feet. I was able to get uh, 24, 20 in uh, download and uh, 22, 77 in upload. Jumping at the 30 feet mark, uh, 12, 97 in uh, download and 10, 85 in upload. At 50 feet, it did drop. So we got 527 megabytes in download and uh, 484 in upload. At the time when I was doing the speed test, on Ethernet, I was able to get on speedtest.net 1891 in download and 177 in upload. Now jumping to the speedtest.net results, I know these results don't matter as much as the land speeds, but at 10 feet, I was able to get 1469 and 177 in upload. At 30 feet, I was able to get 1026 in download and 179 in upload. And at 50 feet, I got 149 in download and 177 in upload. Now jumping to the thermals on this uh, after it was on for quite some time. And uh, we can see here at the front and then uh, going to the back. So those are kind of like the temperatures you're getting on this. So one thing to remember is you're definitely gonna need a ethernet cable hooked up on this in order to work. It's not like you're gonna hook one of these up and then the next one is gonna connect to it wirelessly. That's not the way these work. So if you're putting multiple of these around your house, you're gonna definitely need a switch as well. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions about the Nexus point, go ahead and leave a question below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I'll see you on the next uh, video.